passionate about cycling, there can't be any dream greater than the Tour de France. With Continental's Le Cadet Junior du Tour, the next generation of cycling talent gets to live that dream for one day. It's an incredible opportunity. GCN came out to Annecy to ride stage 10 of the 2018 Tour de France with the Cadet Junior to find out more. As part of their tyre sponsorship at the Tour de France, Continental supports Le Cadet Junior du Tour. It's an exceptional opportunity for young riders to experience what racing the Tour de France is really like by riding a stage on the same day as the professional race. At the same time, it's a truly wonderful chance to promote cycling by highlighting the joy of the sport. First though, preparation. The Cadet Junior get to don limited edition jerseys with the Continental logo, and the tyres on their bikes are the special Tour de France limited edition Grand Prix 4000 RS. This is the high performance tyre in the field, faster than the standard GP4000 model due to a lighter tread construction, and with the Tour logo embossed on the side of the tyre. The support vehicles which provide assistance and logistics to the riders are also fitted with exclusive special edition premium Continental tyres. The group of Cadet and Junior is presented to the crowds at the start on the same stage where the professional riders will sign on just a few hours later. It's hard to imagine how exciting, but also nerve-wracking, this moment must be. Well, actually, I don't need to imagine it, because unexpectedly, the speaker asked me to come up onto the stage alongside the Cadet Junior. How do these lucky youngsters get the chance to participate? Eight to nine young riders are nominated by local cycling clubs in collaboration with the stage hosting towns and cities. They're aged between 14 to 19 years old, so Cadet and Junior under the French system and the only requirement is enthusiasm and a love for the sport. Although, as we found out, many of the cadets are accomplished racers in their own right. Let's meet the young riders. Alors, euh, moi c'est Elliot Germain, j'ai euh, 17 ans et euh, je pratique le vélo depuis euh, 6 ans à peu près. Donc euh, je m'appelle Matteo, euh, j'ai 16 ans et je pratique euh, le vélo depuis euh, 6 ans. Donc bonjour, je m'appelle Jules Fabre, j'ai 18 ans et je pratique le vélo depuis 5 ans au club d'Annecy Skills Compétition. Euh, bonjour, je m'appelle euh, Martin Thiolet. J'ai euh, 16 ans et je pratique le vélo depuis que euh, j'ai 8 ans. Bonjour, je m'appelle Martin Dufault. Euh, je fais du vélo depuis 4 ans euh, à Annecy Cyclisme Compétition et je suis fan de Peter Sagan. Alors euh, bonjour, moi c'est Marco. Euh, je fais du vélo depuis 5 ans. J'ai 15 ans. Bonjour, je m'appelle Bob, j'ai 14 ans et euh, je suis du club Annecy Cyclisme Compétition. Et je fais euh, du vélo depuis que je suis tout petit, environ 4-5 ans. Donc bonjour, moi c'est Thomas Galou et j'ai 15 ans maintenant. Ça fait 3 ans que je suis au club Annecy Cyclisme Compétition et ça fait depuis tout, que je suis tout petit que je fais du vélo. before the main race, the Cadet Junior riders set off ahead of the Tour's publicity caravan, accompanied by official Continental support vehicles. They ride the first 30 kilometers of the stage in front of crowds of cheering supporters and with all the hype of the Tour, it is an incredible experience. And for the Cadet Junior, from the local area, there's the extra boost of knowing that their friends and family are right there in the cycling mad crowds. nice and slowly but it turns out that not only are these kids taller than me they're also a lot faster than me and it's turning out to be quite hard work just to keep up oui. Matteo oui. c'est quoi ton but aujourd'hui Et de bien rouler pour, euh, ouais. pour vraiment profiter de cette journée. 
J'ai l'impression que tu es très forte. Hein. Non, non, non. En montagne Non, pas forcément. Parce que c'était le premier col, on était encore frais. <rire> il fait très très chaud, donc ça va être dur. Ouais, il va faire chaud. Et pourquoi Comment tu es arrivé à faire du vélo Ça fait. Ah. En fait, euh, j'ai acheté un nouveau vélo il y a maintenant 6 ans. Ouais. Et je voulais prendre des cours pour bien m'en servir. Et je suis arrivé dans ce club de vélo. Super. Alors Thomas, ça se sent, ça se sent comment d'avoir tellement de monde à côté de la rue bah, On euh, a bon. l'impression que le temps il passe beaucoup plus vite déjà. Ouais. Euh, bah, C'est beaucoup plus euh, impressionnant et beaucoup plus heureux d'être là. Quoi. Puis ça pousse. Quoi. Ouais, ça pousse. Hein. Au -delà des limites. Ouais. Il aide un peu qu'il fait du soleil. Hein. Ouais, heureusement. <rire> et tu voulais être pro toi-même oh, Oui, peut-être, mais c'est pas un vrai objectif. Ok. Je crois, moi, moi personnellement, je crois que c'est mieux de vouloir être bien. Et puis si on devient pro, ça. Ouais, c'est Tu te sens comment quand il y a tellement de monde à côté de la route Ah, ah ça, ça fait plaisir. <rire> il y a, tu as de la famille qui est là, quelque part bah, J'ai pas vu ma famille, mais j'ai vu des avec qui je fais des courses. Super. Well, that was a little bit brisker than I was expecting. These lads are fit. Anyway, what happens now is after uh, 29 kilometers of uh, the race, well, they're not racing, but they're riding, they all hop in the cars and drive to 30k from the end and then carry on. So, this is where the big logistical challenge happens, I think. Et c'est quoi la plus longue, la sortie la plus longue que vous avez faite euh, en entraînement 159. 159 Il a fait 159 km, right 140. Tu as quel âge euh, 14 ans. 14 ans, il a fait 159 km, right Et toi 140. 140, 140. Mais il est un sprinter, donc Et tu as quel âge 15 ans, oui. 15 ans. Well, this is what you get in a Tour de France convoy packed lunch. We have wooden cutlery, very chic, very biodegradable. There's a uh, salad pour commencer. There's meat with rosemary, more salad, some fromage, some nuts, noisettes in fact. One apricot because, you know, don't want to push, you know, want to push the batter too much, only one apricot. A real glass, a Tour de France glass, made of glass. Un petit gâteau. C'est parfait, mais c'est où le café Here we are, 5 km from the summit of the Colombière. And now the ride resumes with the Junior Cadet. They're uh, climbing out of the car, stretching their legs, and I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to be dropped straight away. So, when we rode with the Cadet Junior on stage 10, their parkour was around Lake Annecy at the start, and then, in the second part, the Colombier, all the way to Grand Bonnard. difference to the actual race is that no single rider is declared the winner of these mini stages. Whilst the last kilometer traditionally does build up to a sprint, for the rest of the ride the Cadet Junior stay together. There is no final timing, no ranking and all the young riders share the podium together to receive their medals. On completion of the ceremony, the Cadet Junior are then given front row seats in the stands to witness the finish of the Tour de France stage that they've just ridden. And who knows, one day, in the future, they may take their place amongst the ranks of elite riders they're cheering for. Don't forget.
forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe to GCN by clicking the button below. If you have photos of your bike or yourself racing that you want to send in to GCN, then use our uploader on the link below.